We had a multi-day blackout a few months ago and it got me thinking with extreme weather events becoming more common, is there some way that I can power my home using a portable generator like you would take camping or charge a caravan with? It does require some prep. So it cost me 838 bucks for an electrician to rewire my box. And he also had to install this on the outside. You can grab these generators on sale for close to a thousand bucks. So really you're looking at a total cost of around 2000 when you include the electrics. So let's say you lose power, you come outside and this is what you gotta do. The electrician has labeled all of the essential services which can be powered by the generator. So I wanna unload the things because the generator will probably struggle with all of that. So I don't need the pull pump or the septic. I want all the lights and stuff on there, but I don't need the hot water for the moment. So I'll start the generator. It's got a pull start as well. I can plug it in, isolate the mains, switch off the grid over to the generator. Generator on, you can hear it wind up a little bit. That's how much power it's drawing. This is a 4.5 kVA generator, continuous 3.5. So I can get these numbers right up to 3.5 continuous before it will shut itself off. So the fridge is still on. I'm even turning the microwave on and I've put a bunch of lights on around the house, even turn the TV on to simulate a normal nighttime use. Put all that stuff on, even the microwave, I'm using a 2.6. Watch what happens when I put the kettle on. <laughs> Can you hear the noise? I've got to quickly go outside because it'll be above. Oh, you just, did you hear that? It's dropped to zero because it's just saying, no, nah, it was overloaded. I'll switch off the kettle. And then reset it. It's running again. It is a bit annoying to hear the generator running like that. There is a rain cover, which takes a tiny bit of the noise out. But if this was going to be going for days, then I'd probably stack up some bricks around it or something like that. Fuel-wise, they use about one litre an hour. So basically, a 20 litre jerry would almost get you a day, but you're not going to run it the whole time. I'd probably just run it an hour on, an hour off. Hot water, you might need to unload the house a little bit, turn the hot water on to warm things up and just tell everyone to have quick showers. But at least your fridge will be able to cool itself down a fair bit and you won't be throwing out a lot of groceries. Now, you're probably thinking, why don't you just get a house battery? We've got solar, so it's an absolute no-brainer. And with the rebate that just got announced from the federal government, batteries have probably now just become economically viable. It's worth remembering that most houses with solar won't power your house in a blackout. You need to have a battery and it needs to be specifically wired with extra money spent on the wiring even for the battery to be able to work during a blackout. I almost think having a generator is a little bit like having a hybrid car. It gives you a petrol backup, which means you don't necessarily have to have a really big battery just to cover those periods when it's really cloudy for a long time. I reckon even with a battery, the generator will still be used. And for me, I live in a bushfire prone area and I want some method standalone to be able to power my bore pump so I can fight a fire if absolutely everything else fails.